Roland, can you hear me? Roland. Your mic is... Yes, I can hear you. You had me on mute. Okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, okay, man, ready when you are? Uh, let me... Yeah. Let me give this to you. Okay, now I'm gonna... Um, what do I do this share thing? There we go, share screen. Now, can everybody see my, my screen? Yes, we can. Yeah. Hello? Yeah, we can roll and it's good. We can see your screen. Okay, perfect. Um, today we're going to talk about condition. Okay, fantastic. Today we're going to talk about conditionals. Mm -hmm. um, we're not going to see formulas. Why? Because formulas are useless. What do I mean by formulas? Uh, in school, they taught you conditionals, zero conditional, if first conditional, if present simple, if plus past, uh, would, should, or could, plus uh, infinitive. Third conditional, uh, if plus past perfect, would plus half plus past participle, and blah, 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 blah. Useless. Okay. Mm -hmm. What we are going to do is we are going to think in English, okay? So today we're going to see two conditionals. We see um, first conditional. Now, the zero conditional is always true, okay? Look, if you walk in the rain, you get wet. That's always true. Can you walk in the rain and not get wet? Martin, uh, can you walk in the rain and not get wet? Impossible. <coughs> Hello? It's impossible. Well, if you walk with an umbrella, maybe. <laughs> then the umbrella gets wet, and then your boots get wet, uh, and you always get wet. Okay. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. Probably there are, in my class, there are two rules. Yes. There are two rules. Rule number one, Roland is always right. Mm -hmm. Okay, Roland, I'm sorry. Rule number two, rule, rule number two, in I'm case sorry. Roland is not right, mm -hmm. see rule number one. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Roland, I'm sorry. You should. Okay, be. boss. <laughs> no, it's fine, it's fine. Uh, don't make your own life difficult. Okay, we're here to learn. So don't make your own life difficult. Okay. Now I've given you the to spend too much time on that. Just look, if you walk in the rain, you get wet. Always true. If you don't eat, eventually you die. That's always true. Yeah? If you boil an egg, it becomes hmm, always true, always true, always true. What, which tense do we use? Which tense do we use for always true? Simple person, present, simple person. Simple present. Yes. Hello. Hello. Darrell, we got problems with the audio. He's unmuted. That's the, that's the problem. You Roland, are... you're mute. Unmute yourself, Roland. Oh, can you see my screen? Yes, but you need to unmute, unmute yourself. We can hear you. And yeah. now we can see your screen. Okay. Okay. The audio is bad. Now, eat you die, always true. If you boil an egg, it becomes hard, always true. Which tense do we use for uh, always true? We use the present simple. We use the present simple. When do we use present simple? Always true, true for a long time, habits. <laughs> okay? 
Okay. Amen. So, <laughs> always true. Present simple. Okay? okay? Okay, next week you're able to sing that song. Okay? Next week you're able to sing that song. Always true, true for a long time habits. <laughs> simple as. Okay. Now, these are, these three, they are general truths for everybody. But mm. I am a very unfortunate man. I am very, very, very unlucky. Because when I come home late, my wife gets angry every single time. My wife get angry. Mm -hmm. Daryl? Yeah, continue. Well, we can hear you, just about. Daryl, does your wife get angry every time you come home late? Right. Does your wife get angry every time you come home late? No, but in no. my case, yes. So for me, it's always true. For somebody else, it's not always true, you see? Mm -hmm. But in okay. my case, I come home, I come home five, four minutes late, and she starts throwing plates and knives and cups <laughs> and chairs and tables and, and washing machines and washer machine. Like <laughs> oh, she's she's very she's down the stairs. She's very strong. Anyway, that's the idea, okay? But mm -hmm. it's always true. Now, first conditional. Mm -hmm. First conditional. Now for the first the story in a minute. But for now, we're going to see that the first conditional is the very likely, the very probable conditional. Look mm -hmm. at the difference. Always true. Very probable. Is that always true? No. So I like to call this conditional the blackmail conditional or the bribe conditional. Do you know what blackmail means? Yes, but uh, bribe? What does bribe mean? Bribe, you will see that in a second, what bribe oh, okay, means. Okay, okay, sorry. Bribe is when, um, when you go to the police, for example, and um, you're on your motorbike without helmets, and the police stops you, and uh, you give him algo para su refresco. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's a bribe. Uh, I cannot even okay. say it in Spanish. Um, well, well. It's um, soborno. Oh, yeah, yeah. I was about to say mordida, but that's a Mexican thing, right? <laughs> it's, a, it's a soborno. Yeah, that's a bribe. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yes. Now, here. If you get good grades, I will buy you a bicycle. Yeah, that's something that my parents used to tell me when I was a kid. And that's what something that parents say to their children. If you get good grades, I will buy you a bicycle. So this is the condition. On this condition, this will happen. Okay? Does that make sense? Yes. I'll be waiting for that bicycle for 35 years, but by the way, but anyway. <laughs> Does that make sense? Is that clear? If uh, you get good grades. Now, who do we have here? Who do we have here? Let me see. Mm -hmm. Lover? Sorry, sorry, Roland, I... I could understand this first sentence. If you get good grades, ah, okay, uh -huh. okay, uh, okay, okay. I understood. Sorry. No, Fabi. Yeah. I saw you walking down the street yesterday. It's, it, it was not me. Yeah. <laughs> I saw you holding hands. Oh my God. With a man. Uh, I, I took pictures. Please don't. I took pictures. If you don't pay me $10,000, I will publish. 
no, my husband is going to throw me away. Like, you uh, see? Long, you see? Long this, is, this is the first conditional blackmail. Yeah. Okay, does that make sense? Yes. Now, I don't know if I'm going to publish the, the pictures. I might publish or may publish the pictures. You see? Is that clear? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Then we have one more. When you visit Dublin, I'm going to change this. When you come to Dublin, damn it. I had twice visited, I didn't like that. Hate computers. Now, when you come, when you come to Dublin, visit me. That is an order. Okay. Okay. Is that now, a condition? Yes. Yes, because when you give an order, you tell somebody you will do something. Yeah? Oh. Martin, when you come to Dublin, you will visit me. Okay, sure. <laughs> That's an order, yeah? Yes. When you go out, I'll give you another one here, just to give it a bit more clarity. When you go out, switch off the lights. You see? It's again a first conditional. Okay? Is that clear? Yeah. Now. Okay. Oh. There. It's an order. Now, remember my wife? Okay. Remember my wife? When I come home, my wife gets angry every single time. Actually, my wife is not that bad. My wife is not that <laughs> angry. Okay. Normally, she's okay with me going out with Daryl to have a beer. Well, when I was in La Paz, or with my friends to have a beer. Uh, but tonight, she's got tickets for the theater. Or uh, she wants to go to the cinema. Or the... The dragon, the, the mother-in-law, the mother-in-law is coming for <laughs> dinner. Mm. Yeah. So when I come home late, if I come home late, and we're going to get into that in a minute later, tonight, but I don't need to put tonight, I can leave it out. If I come home late tonight, my wife will get angry. Get angry. Is that always true? Probably. No, because it's not no. always because she won't have tickets or your mother-in-law is not going to come, like usually going to come or like every day. Exactly. Exactly. In, in this Very case, good. you're emphasizing Very it good. tonight, right? Now, how do we, how do we know, how do, what is the difference here? Hang on, let me, let me copy this. What is the difference between these two? Past simple. What is the difference? Um, the, the will part, the, the consequence one probably happened or probably not. But in the second one, it, it is going to happen. It, it is true. How do you see whether it's always true or whether it's very likely? Very, very likely. Very likely, yes. Yeah, it's probable. Mm. But, but because of the, the big difference here, there is the big difference. You see, we'll get. I can even I can even change this to if if you want. Yeah. You see. Yeah. yeah. It's the will that's important. You see. Make sense. Yeah. Difficult. 
difficult. Now, now I'm going to tell you a little story. If I can get this thing to work. God, I hate computers. Whoops. <laughs> there we go. Now, we saw if, we saw if and will. And they hate each other. Can you see? Why do they hate each other? Well, really? Oh, yeah. By... You see, if and will, they used to be a couple. They used to be a couple and they bought a house. They bought a little house, you see? Mm -hmm. There. And it was a big house and they wrote on the roof, they wrote Conditionals. Now in big, massive letters, conditionals. But then if discovered, if discovered that will had an affair with the infinitive. Yeah. If you look oh. back, <laughs> if you look back, if you look back here, will get, will publish will buy will plus infinitive so this was very shocking and whoops that was not for you um and it obviously will got uh, if got very 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 upset yeah so they had this big house with the letters conditionals on it and Obviously, if and will hated each other, but there was only one thing they could do, and that was to split the house in two. Divide the house. You see? Hello? Yes, I am, I am here. Yeah. Can I hear you? Uh, Okay, okay. What, right, happens, okay. what happens when a couple splits up? What happens to the friends when a couple splits up? Um, the friends visit twice. What happens? <laughs> the I friends also fight, no? Yeah. <laughs> friends usually pick a side. So, if was joined by unless and until and when and as soon as and and who else uh, before and after in case etc etc and of course on the other side we have Will. And he was joined by his cousin Wood. And the twins, May and Might. And what, why do I say the twins? Because they're basically because the exact we can same. Use them as, yeah. yeah, they're basically the same. And they all are happy together with the infinitive. Yeah? It's a very open and modern relationship yeah 
and there is one more they have an extra room and what do we put in the extra room there we put the imperative but always on the side of will okay okay uh, there's one more that i should put here i just don't know how to ah what's that to be going to also also belongs here yeah make sense yeah oh. with an also. example please roland um i am going to buy you a bicycle if you get good grades yeah yeah i will buy your bicycle or i am going, going to. to buy oh, okay, your okay. bicycle it's the same thing no yes i, I get it almost uh, okay next time or one of the next times we'll do the future and we'll do the perfect if you want if uh, Daryl agrees at least okay uh, yeah. now the futures futures are really the, the, oh it's very easy um <laughs> One is a is a, a a sloth, and the other one is a, a, a roadrunner. Mm -hmm. Now, there's there's one family can and could, and they can go on both sides. You see, can and could are friends with everybody. Does that make sense? Yeah, I am. Like, I could I... use can and can in the left side and the right side. Yes. Or both. Yes. You can think you you will be famous. There. Can you see my screen? Can you see my word screen? And uh, no, we stay watching the house. We stay the house. We're still watching. We're still look, looking at the house. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Okay. No worries. No worries. No worries. Then we'll do like. Now you see my. Now you see my word. Yeah. Yes, yeah. you can. Yes. Now you see the document. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Perfect. There you go. If you can move your car, I can put my bike in the garage. You see? Now here oh. I'm exaggerating because I am because I am giving you twice can. Yeah. Uh, if you move your car, I can put my bike in the garage. If you can move your car, I will put. You see? You can play around oh, with that. Okay. Oh, and here I'm exaggerating a bit just to make it a bit more clear. Hey, what do we have here? A comma. Hmm. We have the comma. Hmm. This double line, what does it remind you of? Does it remind you of something? It separates the sentence. It separates the two clauses, no? Hmm. Yes. Where else have we seen this divider? Where else have we seen this divider? And the first sentence are uh, present in the second sentence. Where else have we seen this divider? Future. No, the divider, present. the double line. Oh, in the, no, in no. the house, in the house. The... Exactly. Hmm. So yes. what does that mean? When we have if in a, in a sentence, we cannot have will or would or may or might or should in the other half. Now, would is second conditional. Should is also second conditional. Uh, I should have added shall also. Oh, sure. yeah? uh, I forgot to put shall. I'm going to put it here. There you go. Shall. <laughs> there, shall. You see? 
Yes, uh, but uh, no. can and could is in the both both sides. Yes, they can go on both sides. Okay, but if and will always separate. If and will always separate. Look. If and will. You see. When, an imperative. You see. If and we are, if we are and still may. watching the house rolling. Is that clear? Yeah, Roland, we're still we're still watching the the you're whiteboard. Still, you're still you're still looking at the whiteboard. Oh, yeah, it. yeah. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Better now. Yes. 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 Okay. So there you go. If if division will. will. Yes. If division will. If division might or may. You see. They're always separate. They're always on two different sides. Make sense? Difficult? Yes. No. Difficult? No. no. It's easy. It's easy because we are going to have music to help us. Huh? I think last week you discussed how to learn English with music, no? Mm -hmm. yes. yes, we did. Mm -hmm. I mean. There you go. Now, this is... How dare you? Now this is this is a singer. He's Canadian. <laughs> he's a Canadian singer, and I really, really, really love him because he's very, very uh, clear and slow when he sings. Okay. His but name is Leonard he Cohen. Away. He passed away. He he was he was a nice singer. Yeah, he's he passed away. He's dead in twenty eighteen, I think. Anyway, I'm your man. Yeah? And what do we see here? If you want a lover, I will do anything you ask. You see? Oh. If you want another kind of love, I will wear a mask. You see? If you want a partner, take my hand. That's an order. Or if you want to strike me down in anger, in anger, here I stand. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is the first conditional. Zero no? condition. I know, zero condition. Yeah. And this one is the second. First. first conditional. Sorry. Second conditional is for uh, in a couple of weeks. Yeah. Oh, really? Okay. So we are just going yeah. to do zero and first. Okay. Yes. Otherwise, it's a lot of information in too short of a time. Oh, mm. no. that's true. Yeah. Okay. If you want a boxer, I will step. You see? If you want a doctor, I will examine. If you want a driver, climb inside, etc., etc., etc. It's all first condition. Except this. This is all. Uh, this is a lot of second conditional. Uh, but that's not for now. Not yet. Okay. So what are you going to do? Okay. You're going to Ask, you're going to ask Daryl for this document. He's going to share it with you and you're going to listen to that song. Mm -hmm. Okay. Definitely. Okay. Yeah. Can you say the singer again? Who's the singer again? Leonard Cohen. Leonard Cohen. He's a favorite artist for uh, Felix. Where is Felix? Um, yeah, good question. Where's Felix? Uh, we don't, uh, I don't think he's joining us today. <laughs> no, Leonard Cohen was a singer who died when he was 80, 81. Wow. <laughs> okay, now, just to give it, we will eat when father comes home. But look how it changes. We will eat if father comes home, because maybe he doesn't come home. Oh. Yeah. We will eat unless yeah. father comes home. Because if he doesn't come home, there is no food. <laughs> yeah, we will eat before or after he comes home. We will eat in case he comes home. Because when he comes home, he's going to eat everything. <laughs> and this is a bit. This is a bit ridiculous. We will eat until father comes home. Oh, like, so it's not. It's it's four o'clock in the morning. Father comes home at midnight. That's uh, nineteen hours of eating. <laughs> 20 hours of eating in. Yeah? That's a bit much, isn't it? 
Okay, there you go. To round off, if that's okay with you, Daryl, to round off, I would like to, have to talk about in case. In okay, case good. and the difference with if. Why? What what is the difference between in case and if? Has, has anybody any has anybody got any idea? Um Yeah, no, no. I don't have idea. Okay, uh, Brian. Hello, Brian. Hello. Um, I don't hello, know. Uh, hello, hello. Can you hear me? Yes, we can. Mm -hmm. um, in case. Uh, is another kind of condition? Yes. Or, when, or, what is the difference between in case and if? If. Um, because they're not the same. You, you yeah, can yeah, make yeah. it. I'm sorry. Um, I don't know. <laughs> okay. Can uh, you use it as a replacement? This, this, yes, spare wheel is a replacement wheel. Does anybody have a car? Who has a car? Who drives a car? Me. Hey. Amparo, do you drive hey. a car? Yeah, I do. Okay, who is this? It's Saulo. said yes? Saulo, okay, very good, you have a car. How many wheels have you got in your car? Uh, five. Good. Why do you have five wheels and not four? They have four wheels running and one spare wheel. One is, spare. Why? I, I would use the spare, spare just wheel. in case it, I have a pothole. Or... Exactly. You see? Okay. Is that clear? Yeah. yeah. Clear? Yeah. Okay. You have a spare wheel in case you have a flat tire and you have to change your tire if you fly, your tires are going flat. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. does, that make, yeah. does that make sense? So you consider in case also a part of conditionals? Yes. Okay. Yes, it is. Not many teachers teach it. It's something not many teachers teach, but it is a part of the conditionals. Technically. Can you make one more example uh, with no wheels? <laughs> <laughs> with no wheels, okay. Um, do, you have a, do you have insurance? Uh, no, sorry. Do you have insurance? For your car, for example, or for your house? Yes, yes. Do you have insurance for your for your house or for your car? Yeah, we have a yes, Roland. We have a yes for Martin. Okay. Mm -hmm. Why do you have insurance for your car? In case 
for accidents? In case you have an accident. It's like a protection. It's like a precaution. It's like a insurance. Okay? Okay. Okay. I'll give you another example. Um, um, okay, in, in the rainy season in La Paz, yeah, in the rainy season in La Paz, when you go out in the morning, you bring an umbrella, even when it's sunny. People bring an umbrella. Okay, yes. You bring them in case. Just in case. Rain. In case it's rain. Can you say like, I, I have an apartment clean in case my girlfriend shows up? Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Normally, I don't. You know? Does that make sense? <laughs> hello, hello? Yes, yes. Uh, we can hear you. Daryl, I cannot hear you. I'm having trouble hearing. He's gone. Yeah, Daryl's out for a while. Yeah. Hello? I think Rose is not, is not listening to us. Hello? Yeah, he he stand up and he went somewhere. But I, I think Rose cannot he hear us. He stood up, sorry. Hello? Oh, he cannot hear us? Hello? Roland? I don't think so. Can you hear, can you hear us, Roland? Roland, can you hear us? Hello, hello, hello? Can you hear me? Roland. Oh, he cannot hear us. Could, could someone talk to him? Uh, the thing is, you cannot chat with him because you just can chat with. I think. Robot. Oh, you can say. Uh, we can. Daryl. Yeah. Where is Daryl? Well, I don't know. Uh oh. Hello. Hello. Hello, Daryl, where are you? Roland. Hello. Roland, can you hear us, Roland? I can hear you, I can hear you. Oh, okay, oh, okay. No. You're, okay. You're not hearing us. Now we're good. I can hear you. Microphone went dead. I have this uh, multi microphone battery went dead. Roland, okay. can, you, can you mute um, Daryl? Because yeah, you are okay. the host now. Yeah, you did. Okay, thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Uh, is that clear? Yep. Yes, I. Yeah. I need more hear a noise in the. Yeah, background. I hear noise. So. No, it's gone now. I think it was Daryl. Okay, well. it's okay. Yes, it's okay now. I think it was. Da I think it was Daryl. Uh, Daryl's uh, host. Yeah, he's always having. Um, okay. Recorded. Is that clear? In case and if. Yes. Yeah. Any questions? Any questions about the uh, zero and first conditional? Um, I have a question, uh, Roland. And the last sentences, uh, in case and if these two sentences uh, have the the same perception for speakers. No. 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 Um, was any of you in the Boy Scouts? Okay. No? What well, is no, the no, no. motto of the Boy Scouts? Do you know the motto of the Boy Scouts? The motto? I don't know. Be prepared. Ah, okay, okay. Be, I was, actually, I was a Boy Scout many, many years ago, but I was a Boy Scout. Um, people don't believe me when I say that, but I was a Boy, I was a Boy Scout. I did my Gilgal. Um, Boy Scouts is prepared, so be prepared. 
why do you need to be prepared in case something happens? Okay. Okay. Uh, back it. in La Paz, I, I rode a motorbike. You might have seen it. I called it uh, La Condesa. It was a, a very strange motorbike because I had stripped all the paint of it. And she was rather famous or infamous in La Paz. Yeah? You, you understand the difference between famous and infamous? Famous, famous, uh, infamous is the contrary of famous. It's famous for a bad reason. Ah, okay, okay. I guess. If you're infamous, <laughs> you're famous for a bad reason. So my motorbike was infamous. Okay. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. But I always had a helmet. That was a bad reason. Well, there are more than one. Anyway, I, <laughs> I, had, I had my helmet. Why did I have a helmet? In case of all. In case, in case you, you broke have a, your head. An accident? In case of an accident. Did I ever have an accident? Hope not. No. Wait, no? Tell us. No, no, I never had an accident. Okay, cool. I am just as surprised as you are, but I never had an accident. <laughs> okay. Okay. But I You're always right. had my helmet as an insurance in case something happened. Okay. 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 I get it then, Roland. Okay. Now, if I see a police officer or a Guardia Municipal without helmet, if I see a Smurf without helmet on the motorbike, I stop them. That's why I was infamous on my motorbike. Every time I saw a Smurf, uh, Guardia Municipal, um, uh, I called them Smurfs because they are small and blue. Um, yes. And what are in Bolivia? Them. Mushrooms? And you, and you probably got a lot of tickets for that. <laughs> no. No, I said uh, Article 48. The, are you familiar with Article 48? And they said, no, I'm not. I said, it shows because Article 48 says you have to wear a helmet on the motorbike. And they were always shocked. Anyway, in case and if. Does that make sense? Yes. I get it. Okay. Yeah, now I get it. Any more questions? Daryl is going to talk to you about a grammar course for those who are interested. I don't know how many people he wants uh, to start. Um, but this will, this will be the kind of grammar that, that, we, that we will see. Okay. I will host it with Daryl. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to co-host. I'm going to do the, the more um, theoretical explanation. Daryl is going to give you support when you need it. Okay. Uh, he has all the information. He's going to um, take your inscriptions and all that. And you go through Daryl for, for the whole lot. I'm just here to do the uh, explanations. Okay. And we're going to see present perfect, past perfect, future perfect, all the conditionals. Uh, reported speech uh, and passive, passive voice. Okay. Okay. Thank you. So all the grammar that's uh, and the future will and going to. We will also see that uh, how to use modal verbs, uh, all those things. Yeah, definitely. And guys, especially if you're taking uh, the TOEFL or IE LTS exams, you definitely need uh, this grammar course. It's it's a course designed uh, literally to pass the, the exams with flying colors. Absolutely, it will help. Yeah, you, 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 should be, you should be getting at least 90% uh, in your exam. Well, if you do your work, yeah? If you well, do exactly, work. if you work uh, hard, no. yeah. <laughs> yeah I, have, I, have, I have the face, but I don't do miracles, okay? Mm. <laughs> I only have the face. Okay, now, um, okay there, uh, have any uh, cost? This that's that's the battle. Do you, you yeah, see we'll, that we'll, I'm going I'll, to have to leave in a minute. I'll share, I'll share it to the group later. I'll share it to the group later. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Uh, uh, yeah, Roland, sorry, man. That's, uh, that's on the one side. That will be... Hmm. Roland, yeah. bef before you leave us, yeah. I'm we going need to share to... this document with you. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Roland, before you, you leave us, we need you to do something for us, please. Uh, so the guys have been Go reading... So the guys this week, hopefully, uh, they've been reading um, a book by Stephen King, um, the 
bogeyman or the boogeyman. The boogeyman, so, yeah? Yeah, I'm, I'm just going to put up, a, 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 if you could, yeah, could you just read us the first uh, a couple pages for us? Then explain some vocabulary. Um, Couple pages. Oh dear! You, you, yes. you do realize my, my dinner is getting cold, yeah? Nah, Roland, you got micro <laughs> you got microwave. Man. You, you got microwave. <laughs> no, we don't have a microwave in the house. We don't have a microwave in the house. Anyway, it doesn't matter. And it's chips. <laughs> it doesn't matter. <laughs> chips. <laughs> no, my, my house my housemaid brought some chips because I'm out in the countryside. Uh, I should take some pictures and show you. I'm um, like literally three kilometers away from the nearest village. Mm. Oh. Uh, oh, that's good, Jay. <laughs> so talk about talk about quarantine, okay? I'm literally quarantined. Uh, okay, I, I shared this document with Daryl if you want the Word document of what we saw today. Yes, please. Thank you. Take that of Daryl. The little house you have to draw for yourself. <laughs> Okay. I, I draw it already. Look, look, boss. You see? You see? Good. Hey. Excellent. Excellent. Hang that over your bed. Excellent. Okay. <laughs> right. Uh, go on, Daryl. Okay, good. I'm just I'm just looking for... So if you give me... Uh, let's have a look. If you make me host, please, uh, Roland. How do I do that? Okay, let, let's do this. Uh, there I'm you go. Through. Done. Right, hey so. Roland, where is the in the beginning of this meeting you you give me an advice? Oh yeah, you were about to share something, but I think the yeah. connection was wrong. Well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, the practice, practice, practice. I told you about my my first um, breakfast, mm -hmm. and the second one is um, never be afraid. Okay. Now, okay. I told you about my experience in Spanish. Uh, my Spanish is still not very, still not 100% correct. And I make a lot of mistakes, but I'm going to show you something. What? Nobody has ever shot me. Okay, for making a mistake. Uh, oh. Jeez, I, got, has, I got a little bit scared. <laughs> nobody has yeah. ever put a gun to my chest. Okay. Okay, Roland, thank you. Yeah. So make mistakes, make mistakes. It doesn't matter. I'm going to tell you a story. Do you know, you know how to say avergonzado in English? Anybody? A shame. 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 Avergonzado in English. A shame. No. No. Shame. No. Shame. Embarrassed. 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 Avergonzado. Embarrassed. So I wanted to say, estoy avergonzado de no hablar castellano. <laughs> yeah, sounds... Yeah. Uh, what did I sounds, say? Not good. What did I say? Estoy embarazado por no, por no hablar castellano. <laughs> well, I hope you enjoy it. That's funny. <laughs> well, I, I'm still alive. I have no bullet holes. I am still alive. Make mistakes. It doesn't matter. Okay, you're learning. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. That wise words, Roland. We all make mistakes. No one's perfect. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'll read. I'll read us out for you, and then it's it's past my bedtime. Okay. Because I, I still have to call my my girlfriend as well. And Roland, I just have one question. What bolo is is kind of a word in Spanish? What? You mentioned before that something like burro. What, what is burro? Burro. Uh, mantequilla. Burro is mantequilla. Ah, burro. Yeah. Oh, it's burro? Burro in Italian. Yeah. Oh, yes. it's that Italian. I got it. Okay, I thought, I thought it was yeah. Spanish. I said, Jesus, I suck in <laughs> yeah. Spanish. Mm. Yeah. No, no, no. Burro is Italian for... Um, for uh, Butter, mantequilla. Mantequilla. mantequilla, sorry. Butter. Yeah. But, I did, but I did not know that mantequilla was... Um, I didn't know what mantequilla was. And I was a vegetarian back then, so I thought it was meat. I did not speak any Spanish, but still, I, 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 I survived. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. I came to you because I want to tell you my story. The man on Dr. Harper's couch was saying, the man was Lester Billings from Waterbury, Connecticut. According to the history taken from Nurse Vickers, he was 28, employed by an industrial firm in New York, divorced, and the father of three children all deceased. I can't go to a priest because I'm not a Catholic. 
I can't go to a lawyer because I haven't done anything to consult a lawyer about. All I did was kill my kids. Wow. One at a time. Killed them all. Dr. Harper turned on the, the tape recorder. Billings lay straight as a yardstick on the couch, not giving it an inch of himself. His feet protruded stiffly over the end. Picture of a man enduring lots of colored bots. <laughs> a necessary picture, a picture of a man enduring necessary humiliation. His hands were folded corpse-like on his chest. His face was carefully set. He looked at the, at the plain white composition ceiling as if seeing scenes and pictures played out there. Do you mean actually killed him or? No, impatient flick of the hand. But I was responsible. Denny in 1967. Sherl, 1971. And Andy, this year, I want to tell you about it. Harper said nothing. He thought that Billings looked haggard and old. His hair was thinning, his complexion sallow. His eyes held all the miserable secrets of whiskey. They were murdered, see? Only no one believes that. If they would, things would be all right. Second condition. Why is that? Because... Billings broke off and darted up on his elbow, staring across the room. What's that? He barked, his eyes narrowed to black slots. That door, the closet, Dr. Harper said, where I hang my coat and leave my overshoes. Open it. I want to see. Dr. Harper got up wordlessly, crossed the room and opened the closet. Inside, a tan raincoat hung on one or four, one or, four or five hangers. Beneath was a shiny pair, a pair of shiny galoshes. The New York Times had been carefully tucked into one of them. That was all. All right, Dr. Harper said. Okay, uh, thanks, Roland. So, Roland, um, there's a few words if you could uh, tell us what they mean uh, for the guys. For example, the first one, a uh, yardstick. A yardstick is a very uh, straight uh, piece of wood. It's like a measuring. It's like a ruler. And it was used for, um, for, for measuring things, among others, by tailors, people who make clothes, yeah? Uh, or also to measure land, a yardstick. So it had to be very straight and very uh, exact. So that's why uh, we still use today as a benchmark, as a standard, we say that's a yardstick. So it's something very straight, something very um, true, something very correct. Okay. Uh, uh, composition, please. A composition. Uh, yeah, well, that's the same as in Spanish. Okay. Composition, um, yeah. Composition. Mm -hmm. And haggard? Haggard is like worried, tired, um, a bit worn out, not really fresh. Okay, good. Okay, unkempt. Mm -hmm. Okay. His complexion sallow is like, um, sallow is, some, some people have, have a bit, are a bit gray. Their skin is a bit gray. It's not really uh, brown or, or, or pink or, or black, but it's kind of grayish. It's kind of, it's a bit, the cheeks a bit like that. No, they're not very healthy. You can see they don't have enough vitamins. Yeah, that's a bit okay. sallow, a bit, okay. a bit worn out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you. He darted up on his elbows. So you have to imagine this guy is lying down, and all of a sudden he, from lying down, he leans on his elbows. So he darts up. A dart is like, um, like an arrow, a small arrow. So it goes very quickly. Mm -hmm. Okay. Dart up or solo dart or, or just only dart? In this darted. case, darted up. Darted up. In this, but you, you will almost never find this, uh, this, this verb. Almost okay. never. 
Uh, then you have uh, goloshes. Goloshes are overshoes. Goloshes are, um, hmm, they're to protect the underside of your trousers and the tops of your shoes against the rain. Um, when you see a film about World War Two or World War One, you see these people with these uh, pieces of, of leather or pieces of cloth over their boots. Those are galoshes. Yeah, they're like they're like over they're like an, a coat for your shoes. Oh, for shoes. For shoes, yes, they have to, to protect your shoes from the rain. Sounds really familiar in German. You say galoshen. It's yes. nearly the same. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Or in French, les galoches. So it's the, it's the same um, it's the same thing. It's like a, a shoe without a sole, and you put that over your shoe. It's like an over like you have an overcoat. It's like a coat for your shoes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. It's a new word for me. <laughs> yes, but it, it's not very much used anymore. Uh, you know, sometimes you you can hear it called uh, shops. Uh, when when you go horseback riding or uh, in bikers, they would they would call it chaps because sometimes they have that to put over their shoes to protect their shoes and their their um, from the rain and, and especially when you're riding the a weather. bike from the water exactly okay. uh, and sometimes from the dogs so that's uh, it's like galoshes. a boot it's like a yes. boot Roland it looks like a boot but there's no underside. Ah, okay, okay. It's just, just like a little belt under your under your feet. Yeah, when you see military parades, um, sometimes exactly festive uniform, oh, okay. they have that. Exactly the 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 Battalion Colorado uh, outside the presidential palace. Mm -hmm. What they have on their legs, those are galoshes. Uh, okay, okay. I I get it, Roland. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Manuel. You're, You're quite welcome. welcome. Thank you, Madonna, for the, for the <laughs> help there. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you. Okay. Uh, okay. okay uh, uh, sorry, Daryl, I have uh, a question for for that for Roland. Roland, course, what yes. means uh, wh what means cross draft? I heard first, in a movie. In, first, uh, in first, 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 first. First, give me the correct question. Uh, hmm. I, would, uh, I don't think the sentence... Uh, I, uh, ¿Cómo se hace la pregunta? Ah, okay. Uh, what that means, draft, cross draft? What the... No. ¿Cómo se what hace la mean? pregunta? Look in your chat. ¿Cómo what se hace la pregunta? Mean? Así se hace la pregunta. Hmm. Okay. Así se hace la pregunta. ¿Cómo es así se hace la pregunta? Auxiliary as subject infinitive. Auxiliary okay. su subject auxiliary infinitive. Auxiliar subject su subject sujeto infinitive infinitivo. ¿Cómo se hace la pregunta? Así se hace la pregunta. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. Okay. Got it? Kachai? Okay. Yes, I, I get it. Um, okay, now write, write yeah. in chat, write, write in the chat what, what you mean. Is it cross? Uh, okay, okay. Draft? Cross draft. Let me check. Cross draft. Check. And in what in what sentence? Um, I don't remember uh, the sentence, but uh, is a part of a movie. I just what mm -hmm. I just I just uh, I just was a, a cross draft. In the sentence I, I I can't remember exactly what he said. Now, the, the closest I can, I can, I can, because without context, it's very hard for me to give you an explanation. I need a context, no? 
Okay, okay. So, Give okay. me one second. Yeah. Go on. Because draft, meanwhile, draft can mean a, a number of things. Draft can mean to be called up for military service. Okay. But it can also mean there is a draft. It's drafty. And it means that there, when there is air passing corriente d'aire in your room, that's a draft. Sometimes a ah. cross draft. Now, when you have a window and a and a and a door open, yeah, you have like uh, a corriente d'aire. No, this guy yeah. is uh, cross the the enter enter for, uh, from window or enter mm -hmm. a, a class uh, from the window. Uh huh. And goes out through the door. Yes. Uh, yes. 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 I'm just. I'm just a cross draft. Yes, I got it. Okay. Now. I, I, so got, I got. I got. I got the sentence. I, I. I got the sentence. This guy said, "I was just creating a cross draft." Yes. I was just creating cross. I was just, you know, making a ser pasar aire. Ah. Okay. Okay. Oh. Okay. I. I got. <laughs> Thank you, Roland. I was finding an, a lot of an in, uh, internet searching, but I can't find this this words. What? As long as I as long as I have context, I can make something of it. <laughs> okay. Excellent. Okay. Excellent. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. No. Okay. Final, I'm going to give you back. Full commands. Yeah, I have it now. All right. Uh, You're quite welcome. You're quite welcome. Okay. Uh, Ladies and gentlemen, thank you. thank you very much for your attention. Mm -hmm. And I hope to see you again soon. Yeah, definitely, Roland. All right, yes. thanks, Roland. Uh, we'll let you go uh, heat up those uh, chips. So they're getting cold. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, uh, over here it's already half past nine as well. Mm. Yeah, we're, you okay, know, way past your bedtime, Roland. Way past your bedtime. Speak to Daryl about uh, enrolling in the grammar course. Yeah, it, it is. Speak to Daryl about the grammar course. Uh, it's you will you will even also in your day to day life for your job for your business. Uh, it's very important that you are able to express yourself correctly, and you do that with good grammar. Okay. Okay, Roland. Thank you. I see you. too much bad grammar happening already, and it just breaks my heart. Okay. Uh, yes. yeah, we yes. don't want your heart broken, okay. Roland. Don't okay. worry. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye. All right, All right, Roland, thank you, and see you soon. Uh, once again, a pleasure. Uh, amazing lesson from you there. And I'm, I'm, I definitely know that everyone enjoyed it. Okay, so Roland, take care. I'll see you soon. And yeah, don't forget put mayonnaise on your chips. I know it's a Belgian <laughs> thing. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> okay. Uh, all right. Um, all right. Last half hour, guys. Oh yeah. Let's. All right. So um, let's use uh, Roland's lesson as a. Um, as a conversation uh, guide. All right, uh, Mariana, can you give us a few examples using uh, zero conditional? Mm. Yeah. Just give it, just give us a, a sentence, an example. If I'm late, for class tomorrow, mm -hmm. I, I will low points. If I'm late for class tomorrow, I will? I will low, low points. You will lose points. Yeah. Okay. If I'm late for class tomorrow, I will lose points. Okay. Um, the first conditional, uh, right, uh, Daryl? This is the. Mm, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, Manuela, can you give us an example in the first or zero conditional? I guess it's the first condition and I would say if I will lose my keys, I will lock out. 
I will lock out. <laughs> okay, if I lose my keys, I will be will be logged out. Okay. Uh, Saulo, any examples? Yeah, uh, I'm just listening to my friend's party in my living room, and I'm just thinking <laughs> that down here in Brazil, if I drink and drive, uh, I get fined. Okay, so. good. If I drink and drive, I will be fined. Okay, I will, or I will get arrested. Uh, Amparo, yeah. uh, <laughs> examples? Amparo, we can hear you. Your mic, please. If a student miss, miss the exam, the professor will fail them, fail them. Okay, if the student misses the exam, the professor will fail them, okay. Uh, Brian, uh, an example, please. Okay, um, if I want to speak English, I need to practice with... Uh, uh, Mm, how can I say? Uh, uh, when he's from the another country. Mm. Okay, if I practice English, sorry, if I want to speak English, I need to practice with someone from another country. Okay, uh, yeah. like it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Good. Andrea, uh, an example from you, please. Uh, <clears throat> if Eric don't play the piano every day he play poorly okay if eric doesn't you want to say doesn't if eric Does doesn't it? play the piano every day he will play you'll play poorly. poorly poorly okay good okay good uh linda uh an example from you please Okay, uh, Jimena, an example, please, uh, from yourself. Uh, Jax, hi. Uh, hello, Linda. Mm -hmm. uh, the example is, if you travel today, mm -hmm. okay, <laughs> if, you, if you travel today, uh, can you hear? Uh, yes, we can hear you. Uh, I travel tomorrow. Mm, if what? You if you travel today. Uh, if you travel today, I am travel tomorrow. Uh, is good or no? I don't know. Mm -hmm. No, that one no. Um, okay. What do you want to say? If I travel today, you, you, you can say... If I travel today, um, I will arrive um, on time. Yeah, I'm trying to think the best way of using that one. If I travel today, I will. Yeah, if I travel today, I will arrive uh, two days early, earlier, for example. Mm -hmm. Okay. Maybe she wants to say if she can't travel today, she will. Mm -hmm. uh, she will travel in tomorrow. Well, then, okay, then if I don't travel today, if I don't travel today, I will travel tomorrow. Okay. Yeah, Jesus, travel, travel, travel. Uh, okay, thanks, Linda. Yeah, and no, well done, Linda. That, uh, that's a good one. Yeah, that, it made us think. Um, Jimena, uh, an example from you, please. Okay, David. Uh if you don't study now, you will get a bad score in your test. Okay, good. If you don't study now, you will get bad scores in your test. All right, excellent. Okay. And Greta, an example from you uh, in the conditional. What do we say? Uh, yeah. If I travel to Lima, I will be, uh, no, I will visit my sister. Good. If I travel to Lima, I will visit my sister. All right. Good. Okay. Uh, since as we have Manuela uh, joining us, 
Uh, let's take, advan let's take uh, advantage of Manuela. She's here all the way in Cologne, in Germany. Uh, Manuela, could you, uh, since you were last here, could you, could you, tell, could you tell us what's, what's been happening in Germany uh, in regards to life, everything, COVID, no COVID? What's the German situation right now? Um, well, um, our summer vacation here uh, are, are over for the kids, so they went back to school. They are not uh, wearing any masks at school, and that has caused an increase of um, the COVID cases here. And uh, we are all asked to be more careful, and um, yeah, and everybody. We're getting autumn here, so um, in Europe, um, in September, October, November, there is also a time when the people getting more infections, flu, cough, etc. Mm -hmm. And everybody is a bit afraid now. How will you? Um, yeah, how will you identify the symptoms? Is it a corona infection or is it a flu? It's a bit difficult and currently, yeah, I have the feeling everybody is a bit confused about the whole situation. Yeah, what else is going on in Cologne? Summer is over, everybody's back to work. I'm at work as well, working most of the time from home. Um, the economy is recovering here in Europe. It's not that worse as it was in the serious time of lockdown. We are going, I would say, we're having a new kind of normal. So um, everybody is, um, of course, careful wearing masks, but you also can sense everybody has accepted wearing a mask, for example, as something normal. So, yeah, that's that's the news from Europe and from Cologne. <laughs> I, hey, Manuela, I have a friend living in Cologne also. I'm working with him. And he said that it seems like he's a, a little bit afraid that the number of cases will grow up as the winter is coming, as you said. Do you see people taking extra cares because of that? Or is, this, is it the, the, like a, kind of the behavior is changing because of the winter is coming? Yes, it's, I guess it's like everywhere. So uh, as we had the summertime, everybody felt so a bit caved. They want to go out. They want to experience life again. Yes, and that is why the people have been a bit more careless. Now we have this increase and also the outlook is to become, to get a, a normal flu. Yeah, you can see that. I mean, the, the government is preparing the people. We see that on the news that um, they're asking us not to travel in, in, uh, in um, autumn vacation break or in winter or in Christmas break. We should stay in Germany. That is what they have asked us here because they, want, they don't want the same situation after the summer vacation. We also got that increase because the tourists brought the case is back and I, I'm also, of course, also Germans has spread the, the, the virus outside of Germany, yes. It's, I don't know, we have to learn a lot about that virus and we are all in the same situation somehow. Everybody experienced that right now. You, you have to find your own bubble, your own comfort zone. For some people that could mean that they still stay away from others and others say, okay, I can't stand it any longer, this social, yeah, that we don't have any social contacts. I don't know, everybody has to find its own way, needs to be careful, everybody's in a, in a separate situation, in a very individual situation. For example, my parents are old and I have to be careful when I visit my parents, I don't want to infect them. I'm not so in worry about myself, but I'm really in worry about my parents. And that is why I'm careful. Yeah. I don't know. How do you handle that, guys? Okay. Good question for Manuela. Okay. So, yeah. Uh, great question from, from Manuela to everyone. Um, how's everyone handling the situation? The lack of uh, social uh, contact, uh, being careful amongst kids, uh, relatives, older parents. How's everyone handling the situation? Uh, Amparo, uh, how are you handling um, the situation at the moment, the lockdown? Are you careful yeah. with... 
I'm trying to stay at home. I work from home. And once uh, a week, I go to the supermarket for have all stuff that I need. I will need all week. And then I try to use alcohol all the time. Mm -hmm. I feel my, my hands are a little bit dry, mm -hmm. but I think the consequence of the alcohol. Yeah, definitely. I don't change many times my clothes because I don't, I, I try to, I avoid to go out, but uh, I, sometimes I use, um, I don't know how to say lavandina. Or oh, bleach. 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 For my bleach. Shoes. Yeah. For my shoes. And then all the time I clean in my house. Mm. Uh, that's my way to protect me. Okay, oh, that's good, excellent. Uh, and you, uh, Mariana, uh, what are you doing to keep safe? Or how, how are you surviving in these COVID times? Um, I, I'm very protected uh, for my parents because I live in uh, Okay. Mm. All right, Marianne's question: Because you're studying uh, medicine, um, do you are you afraid to go to the hospitals as part of your studies? Because I know the hospitals, uh, you it's they're quite scary because you can get corona. I think most doctors are suffering. They're just like. Uh, getting COVID, um, are you afraid to go to the hospitals because you need to for your studies? Uh, what's, uh, do you need to go to hospitals at the moment, or or you can, or you can study at home without requiring going to the hospitals? I'm studying at home. Oh, I I I have class all day, the Monday to Saturday morning. I I had class this morning. Mm -hmm. then, but um, not is the same. It is very difficult to uh, learn all the because I I I I I can I can practice mm -hmm. yeah, in laboratory or I I can uh, take pressure or I can hear the occupation where I don't I don't I don't know how they practice. Okay. All right. Interesting times. Um Andrea in, in Sucre, uh, what's what's going on? How are you surviving the lo uh, the lockdown? Uh, for the moment I am not in Sucre. I am I am living in La Paz. Probably uh, next okay. next year um, I'm um, move the city. Mm -hmm. uh, when okay, uh, with my boyfriend, uh, we decided to wash the vegetables or what whatever thing that we buy in the store. And when we have a a pain in our how do you say garganta? A uh, throat. 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 Uh, mm -hmm. We uh, we do a gargle with salt 
or ah, in drink, water, yeah. Okay. Or drink uh, vinegar, vinegar. Uh, vinegar. Okay. Vinegar. Um, at night we prepare uh, lemonade, uh, hot Lemonades. lemonade. Okay. Um, we take care with this for. Uh, um, when we come to the home, uh, we use a uh, we we clean our shoes in the with lavandina. Okay, uh, so clean shoes with bleach. Lavandina is bleach. Bleach. Okay. Uh -huh. Thank uh, you. Hey, welcome. Okay, that's good. So, Andrea. Uh, yeah, so Andre, you need to tell us your recipes. You need to share the recipes. How, how do we make hot lemonade? Mm, what do we need? Mm. Uh, tell us, what do we need? Well, okay. Uh, we, uh, we use four lemons. Um, we use a hot, hot water. Mm -hmm. And we mix in the, how do you say licuador? Uh, mixer. Mixer, mm -hmm. mixer, blender, the blender, yeah, blender, blender, both, and um, you have to drink, but very hot, and use mm -hmm. uh, a black uh, sugar, black sugar, oh, yes, o sea, uh, azúcar de caña, oh, well, brown sugar, is it br brown sugar, okay, brown sugar, yeah, brown sugar, and this we. We you we prepare this all night or or after that that we go to the work mm -hmm. uh, we uh, using the how do you say termitos thermos 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 yes and we use and he uh, because when he go to the hospital to he no when he works in mm -hmm. the hospital. He say me that I have to to take a, a aspirin. Aspirin, okay. Uh -huh. Aspirin or um, one an ibuprofen. Ibuprofen. Uh -huh. Yes, when we have to mareos in the street or or I feel uh -huh. with symptoms with COVID. Okay. Uh, that's oh, good. No, it's good. Yeah, definitely. Andrea's keeping safe. Um, Brian, uh, how how are you feeling in these times? Do you feel like a a caged animal who can escape? Do you miss going out to socialize with your friends? Do you, well, uh, uh, how's your mental health during these COVID times? How are you? Uh, what's my opinion? Yeah, no, I mean, how are you? How are you how are you surviving? Oh. Do you do you feel like um, you're in prison, in San Pedro prison, or do you feel <laughs> normal? How, how are you feeling? Oh uh, well, I don't feel I don't feel okay. Um, I I didn't go out uh, all the time. Sometimes I got out, but um, uh, I want to tell you a, a story. Mm -hmm. uh, some days uh, ago, my my friend told me that his father get the COVID, and mm -hmm. and I and I thought that obviously he, his uh, son get it too, but uh, and I also too, <laughs> but uh, when his father went to the um, states uh, where um, where do uh, the how can I say the last pruebas the COVID? Uh, COVID tests. COVID the tests, test. sir. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh, his father, his result was uh, he he passed the the first um, the first steps or the first step, mm -hmm. the la primera etapa. Okay, the the first phase or the first stage. The first stage, and he uh, he. Um, until getting the COVID, but he is uh, recuperándose. Uh, his recovery? Re yeah, it's recovered. Um, I thought that I getting the COVID, but uh, I feel good. Uh, perhaps uh, um, uh, an system, 
Yeah, asymptomatic. Uh, asymptomatic, yeah. Asymptomatic person, uh, but well, uh, we we had uh, we have got we have got uh, clean the house. It's more uh, uh, vitamins. Mm -hmm. um, stay safe at home. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Definitely. Mm. And Saulo in Brazil, man, because Brazil has got the second most cases behind the United States. Uh, what's yeah. the situation in, what, in, in North Brazil? Uh, are there more cases because uh, it's, it's a hotter climate? Um, how's the situation hey, where you are? Uh, the, the, now we have uh, a few states uh, getting better, so they have less and less cases happening. Uh, fortunately, the state where I live is still going up, so number of cases are going up uh, every day. We still have around thousand people dying every day, when you consider that fourteen days ever fourteen days average. Uh, but at the same time, the economy is uh, kind of claiming to be back, you know. So people cannot stay at home anymore because they don't have how to make money. Mm -hmm. So there are a lot of people coming back to the streets and coming back to work. And so I, I believe the number of cases will grow up really fast here in Brazil. And we, honestly, we don't have a good infrastructure to support this number of cases. So uh, for sure, it's, it's really bad to be locked up, locked up at home. Mm -hmm. But it's, it's really tough. And one peculiarity in Brazil is that we have a few cities with a huge amount of people, you know. So like I, uh, I'm from city... Just Sao Paulo city has more than 10 million people. Uh, and considering the cities around Sao Paulo, it can go up to more than 30 million people. So you can imagine how this agglomeration could uh, influence the number of cases. So definitely. the situation in Brazil is definitely not good. Mm. Wow. And uh, Saulo, you, you are working for Ford as well? You are working for Ford of Brazil? I am, yeah. Uh, yeah. I worked at Ford England, so that's how I met Beryl. Uh, that was a long time ago. And then uh, after a long time, I moved to Bahia it's in northeastern Brazil. Okay. And your friend in Cologne, uh, could it be, is it Nando Pedreira? No, no. Actually, it's Danny Schutz. Oh, Daniel. Yeah, you know him? Yes, I do. Oh, <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> yeah, he's kind of my... <laughs> my master so okay. he's mastering me in uh, audit process so yeah we talk we talk almost every day oh cool great yeah. i know him i like him a lot he's a good guy wow that's a really small word it is sometimes <laughs> yes <laughs> definitely okay um uh jimena uh, what's the situation in pando how, how are you coping has COVID changed your life for the good, for the better, for the worst? How's your mental health? Uh, before I would, uh, I will, no, uh, before we, all the security measure, I continue working because I work in a food factory. But I think uh, in Panda, in Cobija, exactly, we already had it, this disease because, uh, the the this city is too small. Uh, I I think that it depends a lot of the fen the defenses of mm -hmm. the person, because I gave me just uh, like a cold a simple cold mm -hmm. for a cough, for yeah. a day for a day. Uh, um, that's all for me. But I I see I saw that another person is too 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 off. Uh, they they needed uh, a machine to breathe. Uh, however, uh, now I saw that everything is returning to normal. And I I I heard that they have already enabled the fairs in in the markets. Uh, the typically fairs in street in but I hope that uh, it's no regret. It could be rebrote. How do you say rebrote, Daryl? Out, out, 
Outbreak. Oh, yeah, outbreak. 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 Yeah. Yeah, because uh, now here is totally normal. Mm -hmm. Just with uh, our person uh, wears the mask. But uh, in the market, in the streets, uh, everything is normal. I mm -hmm. don't know if that is good or bad. <laughs> mm. Well, yeah, it's, no, it's a good thing that everyone's taking uh, precautions. Yeah, because COVID can it's so spreadable, so can easily spread without without a person even knowing they have COVID. Yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. Yes, I I hope that. <laughs> mm. Yes, uh, Linda, uh, how's how how are things in Potosi? Are you okay? Do you miss your friends? Do you miss going out to the market or doing normal things like before? Uh, yes, I'm here. Um, yesterday, uh, um, I had a rastrillaje. How do you say rastrillaje? Um, um, the doctor came in, in, in ah, the yes. house. Mm -hmm. ah, so the doctor came to your house? Yes. Uh, okay, good. Uh, just to do the, the, yes. the COVID, the COVID uh, checks? Yes, the COVID check and um, the doctor, uh, how do you say, uh, sacar muestra? <laughs> I don't know, <laughs> mm, but um, uh, con uh, the doctor control for COVID and uh, in my house negative. I'm mm -hmm. very happy. <laughs> oh, exactly. And, yeah, um, yes, and um, the the market uh, in in here is. Uh, a little bit, uh, for example, fruit, it's more expensive and um, other, other, for example, and especially fruit, mm -hmm. no come in here. Yes. Ah. Um, yes, no, a little, and the uh, a marker uh, is normal, but is only a three three o'clock is closed. Mm -hmm. Everything the market, a market um, is uh, all is closed, closed, and uh, the people. Uh, is walking only three, three, three o'clock, and uh, uh, Saturday and Sunday is mm -hmm. yeah, everything is closed. Everything's uh, closed. No, no working. Mm -hmm. Working, yes. <laughs> yes. Okay, it's good. No, it's not. Yeah, it's, it's a shame that. Uh, over there in Potosi, uh, you're not getting any uh, delivery of fruit and vegetables. And usually when that happens, the prices go up. I mean, during the blocks here in La Paz, uh, I mean, uh, the fruit went up. I mean, oranges went from um, 10 Bolivianos for 25 to uh, 25 Bolivianos for 25 oranges, just because we had, uh, the blockades. And that was crazy. Mm. Yeah. So things, yeah. Uh, when there's no, when there's a short supply of foods, definitely the prices do go up. Mm, it's a shame. It's, a, it's quite sad. And Martin, uh, over to you. Uh, what's going on? Are you okay? Uh, are you now uh, susceptible to the new norm that we're living in, or you miss the old ways? No, I'm not susceptible for this new ways. Mm. I try to to do other things and try to not, uh, not think in COVID. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I eat healthy food. I, I eat uh, 
ginger, lemon, onions, a lot of vegetables, mm -hmm. vitamin C, and stuff like that. Uh, I try to have social distancing. Mm -hmm. uh, sometimes it's impossible. Sometimes it's impossible to have social distancing and think another thing because when you turn off the TV, it's all politics and yes. <laughs> COVID, COVID-19, COVID-19 politics, politics, mm. COVID-19. It's uh, over, overwhelm, mm. overwhelming. Yes, um, uh, definitely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you, and you, and when you come out to the, uh, the streets, or the banks, or, or, or supermarkets, uh, it's not social distancing. <laughs> No, there's de yeah, there's no social distancing in the markets here in La Paz, definitely. Yeah, yeah in the streets, uh, uh, anywhere, mm -hmm. <laughs> in Bolivia in general. Yeah, <laughs> yeah no, definitely. Um, Guina, over there in Peru, uh, what's going on in Chimbote? Uh, are the cases on the rise? Are there many, do many people have COVID or it's quite controlled over there? Uh, well, First of all, um, kind, what kind of control? Uh, approximately 15 days like that for police for a real quarantine, like I say. After them, uh, the people relax, but in my neighbors, it's, um, it's not crowdly. Uh, I am carrying, I, I go out only when it's necessary. Uh, mm -hmm. Now I go out to uh, out the city, but, but with some protections. Uh, I don't know if I get uh, COVID, but I feel uh, I feel good. Uh, last, like I say, my another friend uh, there. Mm -hmm. uh, I I take a. I think I get a good humor also eating um, vitamins. I know it affects me in the, in the job because uh, I can work in the institution that um, I, I, do, I was doing my work and now have to wait and well, but I'm doing some independent work. Mm -hmm. It does get me that get me busy. I, I feel like uh, normal too. I don't know. I don't feel like uh, in the in the closer uh, place. I don't know. Uh, in the news, um, the people said that it's growing the last weeks. Now, um, now it's um, decreased. Mm -hmm. COVID is decreased, I think, uh, because uh, have more precaution people. Uh, when also my my aunt, uh, uncle uh, died, but uh, I think it's past uh, one month. One month. By COVID, but half I uh, was a old people. Uh, I think for that, you know, uh, I don't know exactly the affection because that have also protected um, health prevention and taking a, a vitamins. I don't know how, but happens, happen that. Mm -hmm. uh, I think uh, it's a good way to get a uh, good humor and doing that it's uh, as necessary in order to get control the situation of the disease, this disease, no? yeah. this, this virus. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ah. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> thank you, Brina. Thank you. Uh, okay. Uh, before we wrap up, uh, Manuela, whilst we have you, uh, could you tell us a, a, a famous German fable? Yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> like if, if you, uh, yeah, like a famous uh, German story, like, you know, it can, it can be anything. 
Yes, um, for Cologne, um, there is a, maybe you have heard about or not, I don't know, but if Cologne is really famous. Um, once upon a time, we had um, little, little men which are doing all the work with the, all the Cologne people could be lazy, they lie on the sofas, and they could sleep the whole day, they could eat because all these little men, they do the whole work, yeah? And there was one nosy woman which wanted to know who they are and she stood up until late of night because they did all the work at night and she wanted to know but they said okay if one of the human beings will see us you won't get any support any longer and this nosy woman she wanted to see them and she has seen them and at this point of time all the cologne people are not lazy any longer they have to work <laughs> mm. that's a really famous story here for cologne yeah okay excellent all right guys. Uh, manuela cologne is uh is a city a state of german it is, a, it is a city um, and it is close to the um, Dutch border. So it's really in the west of Germany. And we have a big river, the River Rhine. Maybe you have heard about it. It's a big river. It goes through Europe, crossing Swiss, crossing France, crossing Germany, goes to the Dutch, <laughs> to the North Sea. And um, yeah, it's a nice city. We are here. Um, I guess uh, one million people live in Cologne. Yeah, it's a and, nice and city. Well, we have a nice yeah. church. The dome. And uh, the home of the best beer in Germany, yeah, the Kolsch yeah, beer. Uh, <laughs> 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 or oh, how Daryl has said it once upon a time, I take the piss. <laughs> mm. Yeah, Kolsch yeah, is not bad. It's quite decent beer. Yeah, yeah it okay. is. Mm. Okay, guys. All right, um, okay, so next week um, we have a special guest. Uh, I, she's, she's a president uh, of a, a mental health trust back in the UK. So she, uh, she's going to come, she's going to come join us and like uh, give us some tips on how to survive uh, lockdown, uh, how, we don't, how we can just uh, live or adapt to the new norms of life as we're experiencing right now. Yeah, and yeah, uh, if you've got any issues or any questions about mental health, uh, yeah, ask her. She's an expert, so, because I know uh, mental health is a big thing, especially now, because we don't, we're so restricted in what we can do. For example, at the weekends, I mean, we can't, Saturday, Sunday, we're all logged in, you can't go out, and that affects, it does affect people in different ways, so, yeah, she, She'll be a good person uh, to tell us uh, uh, how to cope with uh, what's going on uh, in the world uh, these days. Yeah, so that's next Saturday. Uh, uh, Aisha, she, she's a president of a mental health trust in the UK. So I think yeah, I think that'll be that'll be quite a good um, a good topic uh, to get to know about. Mm -hmm. Sounds really interesting. Yes. Mm, no, definitely. Yes. Yeah, definitely. You, may I? You, you, Manuela, will be there next week? Yes, I will join you guys. <laughs> okay, Manuela. And yeah, I got a question for you. Do you have a request before wrap up? <laughs> you have a question. <laughs> yes, that's the way. Uh, I'd like to ask everybody, uh, I know everybody's working in a different way now and we're like noticing that we need different skills to live in this kind of new world. So if you could, I I'm prepared for a lecture in, in about three weeks exactly to talk about that. And if you could tell me uh, what you perceive as new skills that you, ha you must have to live in this new world. If you could text me on WhatsApp, I'm now in, in the group, I'm the plus five five number. Uh, if, you, if, you, if you want to share anything, just let me know. You can practice in English, of course. <laughs> and it would be nice to see how you're dealing with that and what you perceive to be different and in, in the next couple of months as you have to work in a different way, you know? Yeah, no, okay. you know, that, that's good. Uh, definitely, I, I know with, co with working from home, uh, everyone has to, what's it called? Develop new skills. You, you definitely have to develop new skills. Um, yeah. and, and, and the jobs are different. I mean, so, some jobs, yeah, um, where you 
physically were required to be there. Uh, for example, if you work in a factory, I mean, sometimes you're yeah, uh, factory work, they'll, they'll replace you with a machine at the moment. So, because uh, uh, anything these companies can do to lower the costs, they will. So guys, it's about adapting and finding new skills to, yeah, to, to improve ourselves and uh, go ahead in the new world. Definitely so, that's good, yeah. I'm sure, yeah, just set, send a message in the, in the WhatsApp group and I'm sure the guys will respond to you. Yeah, sure, I, I will send a note so everybody knows that I am me. <laughs> yeah, no, exactly, yeah. And you can sing as well. I can you on Porch Messenger, Zolo. I can take We can talk on Monday. Wow, that's good. <laughs> yeah, looking forward to it. Exactly. Okay. All right, guys. Uh, so, yeah, we'll see you next week. And uh, I'm going to share Roland's um, lesson in the WhatsApp group. It, he just sent me the notes. So, I'll, I'll pass it over to you guys. And yeah, you can practice, practice, practice. It's a good lesson now. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Okay. All right, uh, Manuela, Brian, Martin, Amparo, Quina, Solo, Mariana, Andrea, Jimena, Linda. See you guys next week and have a good weekend. Yes, you too. Bye. 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 Everyone be safe. Bye. Be safe. Okay. Thank, Thank you, friends. Bye. 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 Welcome. Bye.